What's going on, guys? Just here, back again with another reaction. So today, I'm going to react to Ali, uh, Ali Lost in Paradise featuring Akello on The Voice. Um, so I did watch the the documentary they put out, the seven minute documentary just for this. You know, it's, it's really nice because you know they went to some controversy uh, with uh, the last couple of years. So I was really worried they're gonna they're gonna be gone. You know, so I was like, I really hope they do come back. And it was nice to know that, you know, they had, like, he himself, you know, he had people that were generally kind-hearted and supported him, you know. And so it just goes to show that if if, if you have true fans that, like, and they know, you know, like, like you're, not, you're not, like, a horrible person or anything like that, but, like, you know, like, you just, you just, you know, like, you know, like, an accident happened, you know. And so, like, you know, like, I think, uh, I think that fans will forgive you more than, more than uh, a lot of people will, you know. And that's how you know you have true fans, you know, because they know that you made a mistake and you're willing to grow from that. And like he said, he wants to you know, spend the next couple of years trying to really you know, tell the truth and, like, you know, like help his fans out and really, you know, get this, uh, I guess, you know, get this, help them be seen in a different light, you know. So I really feel like they're on the right path. I know he just had a kid with uh, E-Girls, I forget who it was, Suka. Suka Fuji, Fujishuka, uh, Karen, Karen's sister, you know, so it's really nice. So I was like, I really, you know, I, I see, I see them on, on Instagram a lot, you know, them just having a good time. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy he's having a kid. I'm happy his life's going well. I'm happy he's back touring again. So let's get back into it. You know, all's well, as long as you admit your wrongs, right? So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Whoa! Is that like a auditorium? It's pretty big, isn't it? Yo. Wait, are there people inside the audience? I can't tell. Ugh. そしてここにいる皆さん、そして Yo, 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 yo. You gotta get it, homie, gotta move it. Uh, you go, go do it, then who can you know? Yo, everybody just talk, nobody really do it. I'm not a yard, my dish to kill him. It's a new that I got to Kakuni, not the free old chip, no jacket that get the break the walls. Don't have enough faith. Yellow, you're the cool, the low, you prove the rival. Yo, bro, the lyrics so. What's the word? Relevant to his life, bro. <laughs> Literally, bro. Oh my god, that's so that's so beautiful, bro. Like, the relevancy of this song is gonna be so true to his own life story, bro. That's crazy, man. Oh, nothing is for real. The 
performance I guess and his um his persona I guess on stage is that he's so like he's so like controlled by the music you know like the beats the way he hits the way he moves it's, it's like very um I don't know I say Michael Jack Jackson-esque you know and that's the best way to describe it he has a very Michael, Michael Jackson type vibe and though I guess like the baritone way I guess the really deep way and he sings in such a nice style it just sounds so amazing to hear and this oh my god it's so good I love the way the music came in and the orchestra at the beginning goes into their goes into their band sound. It's like oh, it's so nice, so nice. Access to your land. Actually, the lyrics are very encouraging in that sense. That, you know, they're talking about like not giving up when you're down. You know, it's like no one can hold me down in the most literal sense of the word. And it's it's, it's really a battle with yourself. Really, Lost in Paradise is really about knowing that you are in paradise. You just have to open your eyes and just keep looking around. You know, keep keep finding what you want. Out there, it's it's here. It's before you. You just have to look for it. I don't know what I'm saying. I won't keep in love by in my life Cause my life is living for love I won't keep in love by in my life Standing over me all the time Told your reason Going to the light to be Yes. 
Yo, you know what I love about that? First off, amazing performance is that it sounds so raw. It's like it sounds so amazing to hear live. I guess the best way to describe it. It's like your your, your ears are like you know what I mean. Oh my god! But what I really love about his voice sounds so like it doesn't sound like it's been augmented in any way. It's just his natural tone he uses, and it's like it's so rough and so like cool. You know, so badass. So it's like. Oh man, that's, if, if so, I could have that voice for I'd kill myself to have that voice for honestly. That's such an amazing voice to have, bruh. 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 Um, but uh, yeah, man, that was powerful. You know, so relevant to this life story right now. And it's like, it's such a true story that anybody, that for anybody really, like right, whenever you're feeling down or lost, it's no, you are in paradise. You just have to look around, see what's out there, see what's here before you. Cloth. I don't know, uh, but you just have to look, look, look for the paradise around you. You know what I mean? And there's there's truth in the fact that you know he sounds amazing, and he I think because it's so relevant, he's able to put even more emotion into it. You know, than most people would. Um, I think anyway. Um, but then again, he didn't. I mean, let me know if you actually wrote the song. You know, or if like there was a writer or something like that, or if it was, like a group thing. But yeah, um, this was an amazing performance, hands down, ten out of ten. Um, wow, that was amazing. Um, but, oh yeah, AKLO killed it. His rap was amazing. I saw him on that one song, ah, I forget, I get the song, he, with uh, Salu, AKLO and Salu. They did a song together, I forget what it's called, oh, RGTO, I think. I think that's the name of it, but I could be wrong. But yeah, they sounded, he was so amazing. That That's where I first got introduced to him, and he sounds amazing. And then the whole instruments, the bands in the background, with the orchestra, I guess, uh, Oh my god, it was such an amazing combination of sounds. Plus, like hip hop and rap, a little bit of jazz, a little bit of like funk, a little bit of everything. You know, it's, it's, it's a, and then there was ad libs on the piano and the and the and the 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 band. They did so many ad libs in there. Oh my, it's oh my god, that was probably I think one of my favorite performances on the first take. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you guys enjoy this song as much as I did? If not, tell me why. If so, tell me so. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have more requests, put the question down below. Jester, out.